Welcome back everyone, I'm Ryan from B2B Gateway's marketing team. And what's the buzz this week with B2B Gateway? Last time, we interviewed Luke from our production support team. This week, we're going to be catching up with Desmond Frawley from our Ireland office, who's our Director of Sales and Strategic Partnerships for our European and Australian marketplaces. We're going to be asking him some questions about how he's been holding up during the pandemic, and a little bit about our new office in the UK. Hey Des, how are you? How are you doing? Hey Ryan, I'm not too bad. And yourself? I'm doing well. Uh, it's 7.30 for me, but what time is it over in Ireland? I believe we're just uh, just before lunchtime, 12.30, so come on, come on close to that lunchtime hour. <laughs> <laughs> What's for lunch today? Oh, I, to be honest, Ryan, I, we're, we're so busy here, I don't, I don't have lunch much. I'll probably quack, uh, grab a quick sandwich, you know, eat it by the laptop. That's about it. <laughs> Great. Well, uh, how have you been holding up during the pandemic? You know, what's your work from home situation been like? Yeah, it's good. You know, um, the, the beauty, I suppose, working for a you know high tech company is that uh, you know we're able to work remotely, and that's great. And um, you know, so I actually have a, a home office set up here in a way before the pandemic. So it's uh, it's great to be able to get up here and get some space. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm holding up okay. It was tough, tough the first couple of months. Um, you know, everything was on strict lockdown. You weren't able to go anywhere, but Gradually, Ireland is um, easing the restrictions, so we're now able to, you know, get out to the parks. And you know, I have a young two-year-old, so it's important for him to be able to get out and visit the grandparents and stuff. So golf courses are back open. So gradually, we're we're moving in the right direction. So hopefully, another few months, and we should be back to the new normal, as they're saying. Yeah. Cool. Well, for those of you, uh, for those of people who are watching, don't know you. Um, do you mind just giving a quick introductory? Uh, who are you? What do you do for B two B Gateway? And a little bit about B two B Gateway in general. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, my name is Desmond Frawley, and I am the Director of Sales and Strategic Partnerships for the EMEA and APAC regions for B two B Gateway. So I look after all things sales and partnerships, really, um, across our main markets in Europe particularly the UK, Netherlands and Ireland, and in the APAC regions, in particular Australia and New Zealand. Uh, so they'd be our major markets in those areas. Um, so B2B gave it what we do a lot for our clients. We're an EDI and API connectivity solutions provider. Um, so we connect our clients to their partners uh, in order to you know, completely speed up their order to fulfillment stages. Um, and I think in the current climate in particular, it's so important to be able to do that. So. For example, I'd have many clients uh, trading um, documents with major retailers across the UK, like John Lewis, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Okada, Wait, any of them you name it, you know, uh, we trade with them. So from uh, importing purchase orders to um, exporting invoices and streamlining that process to cut out the kind of data entry uh, time and, and cut out the human error side of things and, and really streamline their supply chain. That's what we're able to do for our clients. So we're seeing a huge uptake, you know, with a lot of clients going online at the moment um, and selling through e-commerce. Uh, we're a huge uptake in clients and having that need for EDI and API. Um, and I'd have many clients, you know, joining us as, as small businesses um, and growing into, into quite large companies in a number of years and, and really being able to streamline that process um, so that they can focus more on their business and that focus more on, you know, re-entering orders into their systems etc of course and i know a big advantage uh, to using b2b gateway solutions is our global presence and our global support and uh that brings me to the exciting news that just before the pandemic actually we just opened up a new office uh, in the uk which now extends uh, our global presence to um you know the united states ireland australia well europe in general uh australia and now uh uk in england so do you want to just uh explain uh, or talk about the uk office a little bit and, and how that benefits uh our clients in general yeah absolutely um it was it was a great milestone to open the uk office in, uh, in manchester and like, like you said our, our eu headquarters are based in ireland we're able to you know completely um Look after all our clients across the UK and Europe. We're on the same time zone. We're only across the pond, as we call it, um, to the UK. But it was it was an important milestone to open a UK office and be able to serve our UK clients a bit better. Um, I use it quite a lot for 
traveling obviously that's quite restricted now so i haven't been out there quite, for quite a bit so i'm looking forward to that reopening so i can go out there and visit but um and our project managers will be out there visiting our, our, our uk base as well supporting our clients out there and um, so it, it, it's a big milestone for b2b gateway to have the more of a uk presence more locality um, and i'm looking forward to using that office more again after this pandemic so that i can meet our clients face to face you know on a daily basis out there um, and and offer that local support that um we're, we're currently able to offer from ireland but just giving that extra bit of bit of touch for our clients yeah that's definitely important well thanks des um you know what's the first thing you're going to do after everything opens up uh, back in ireland oh that's a, a very easy question it's going to be have a pint of guinness <laughs> <laughs> I think if you asked every Irish man what the first thing they'll do is probably have a, a point again as the, the, the bars have been closed and obviously with Ireland we're, we're a very traditional country with our, our, our bars and our, our you know going to our seaside resorts and enjoying the fresh local produce and, and a point again so I'm looking forward to that at some stage uh, heading away with the, the wife and, and, and my son and having a, having a Guinness and a fish and chips. <laughs> yeah absolutely um you know Two summers ago, when I came over to visit you, you know, that was one of the best times. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting over there again and having a pint with you. So, yeah, absolutely. We got a game of golf and a pint. Absolutely. All right, Des, yeah. thank you so much for jumping on with me, uh, and and thanks for uh, you know explaining what you do to everyone who's watching. And I hope you have a great weekend. Perfect. Thanks, Mr. Ryan. Great catching up. You too. Bye. If you tuned in last time, you'll notice I have a brand new hive here. That's because it's swarm season, I managed to grab another one. However, uh, last time we reintroduced a new queen to this hive here. So we're gonna be going back in, making sure the queen's there, she's released, she's laying eggs, and all is well. All right, so we're just gonna take the cup, top cover off. Now there aren't a lot of bees in here, which is why I had to reintroduce a new queen. So we're going in and looking for her and we're gonna look for some eggs. They're starting to draw some comb on this side, as well as that side. All right, so the queen is definitely gonna be somewhere on here. She's got a green dot on her, so she'd be easy to spot. Oh, there she is. She's got a blue dot. She's right there. Hold that for a second. Yep. See her walking around right there with the blue dot? There's our queen. She's laying eggs, which is a good sign. So let's let her be and put her back. <laughs> 